Hello gentle viewers, this is Abindian, welcoming you to a brand new series, a brand new game with Out of the Park Baseball 20, which just released earlier today. I unfortunately have a job, and so I was at my job, and I couldn't play OTP 20 earlier, even though I really wanted to. But I'm home, I'm ready, let's do this. Um, if you've never come to the channel before, maybe you're just here to check out a new game, welcome. My name is Evindian. Hi. Um, a couple of ground rules for this series of OTP20. As you all know, uh, if you follow the channel, and if you don't, I'm going to tell you right now. With Out of the Park Baseball 20, we're going to be playing what we what I've called the World Tour mode. We're going to be trying to take every franchise in Major League history that's never won a World Series to the promised land, so to speak. There are seven such franchises, which are the Washington Senators slash Texas Rangers, the Milwaukee Brewers, San Diego Padres, Montreal Expo slash Washington Nationals, Seattle Mariners, Colorado Rockies, Tampa Bay, open parenthesis, Devil, close parenthesis, Rays. Those are the seven teams we're going to be playing. And in order to make this experience uh, an enjoyable one for everyone, I'm going to play each franchise for a minimum of five seasons. Um, if we somehow win a World Series in the first five seasons, we still will play up to the fifth season. Otherwise, we'll play until either people get sick of it or until we win the World Series, whichever comes first. We will be beginning with the Washington Senators, who started their lives again in 1961 after belonging to, uh, well, so the original Washington Senators became the Minnesota Twins. And then the following year, there was an expansion franchise also named the Washington Senators, just to make sure things are pretty confusing. So that is what we are talking about today. So, um, one little bit of want want kind of thing. I really, really want to start with the expansion draft. And for whatever reason, OOTP will not let you start a brand new game with an expansion draft. So we are stuck with the classic 1961 Washington Senators re roster, which, for those of you who didn't know, lost most of their games, which is true of most expansion teams. Um, so that's not great. Um, a couple of other notes. I went, instead of going peak, I went for career sat stats to set the setting ratings. I think that provides a more realistic experience for certain kinds of players. Um, we're playing with neutralized stats, not um, real stats. And that will keep us from seeing like Tony Gwynn inning 500 uh, when he gets drafted because of when he is there. Um, so let us get our control options set up. Um... Yeah, this is fun. Uh, if a player is out for at least two weeks, go ahead and stop me. That's all fine. We'll be playing only as a general manager. Uh, I've chosen another Russian naval admiral for our names, Nick Assen a.k.a. Nicholas Von Essen, who was the Baltic Fleet commander during World War I, until he died of, I believe, the flu or possibly pneumonia in 1915. Um, right. So, those of you who saw OTP-19, things look pretty similar. A lot of the changes for Out of the Park Baseball 20 seem to be under the hood. Um, and so we're going to explore that together as we play through the game and see what actually has changed. Um, we are playing pre-1971, which means most importantly, absolutely no um, free agency. We are in pre-reserve clause era, and that'll be true for the first four teams of our franchise, beginning with the Mariners in 77, they'll all have free agency. 
Which means we're going to have to be extremely clever if we're going to um, build a team that can win a World Series. We're going to have to do it through the draft and through clever trades. One thing I did do that... I, I went back and forth about this when I was designing the game off screen. No draft pick trading. I think it's too easy to exploit because the AI doesn't understand how valuable a draft pick can be. Um, which will probably make our job harder. If it does, it does. So, let's meet the Washington Senators. We are pretty terrible at most things. We're an expansion franchise. Our highest rated player is a 57. Sorry, 58. Team Woodling, a 38-year-old outfielder. Who is, admittedly, a pretty damn good hitter. You can click on real life stats, by the way, and it'll show how he did in real life. Um, but he's 38. Well, one of the things we need to do as we think about our roster is identify people that would likely be someone we could get a good return for. And I can't think of many people better than Gene Woodling. Actually, I wonder if they had a new stats. Yeah, we've got to we got to get these views edited. All right. Oh, look at all this stuff. This is glorious. Okay. Uh, we're gonna use short name. Uh, I always want age on every screen. Adaptability, that's new. I don't think that was in OTP before. Batting stats. Batting runs. Weighted stolen bases, maybe? Let's get it all in there. I'll figure it out. Definitely weighted on base average. Got to go with the total base. Uh, strikeout percentage I find is more useful than just strikeouts, period. I don't care about singles. That is true. I'm going to leave RBIs off because they're a junk stat. Um, yeah, this is good. What the heck is UBR? Oh, ultimate base running. Okay. And total base running runs. Nice. Okay, I like this a lot. Let's save it. And we're going to call this one batting stats. I admittedly could have done this off camera. And maybe I should have. But I think you guys will live. Um, okay, let's wipe out all that. And we're going to put all the numbers in front of us here because we need all of them. Literally all of them. And then we're going to go into fielding ratings and go ahead and throw in fielding a primary position. And overall and potential rating. Where's the defense at the prime? Oh, there it is. It's under def. Okay. Position ratings. Please and thank you. And then we'll quickly throw in fielding ratings. And none of these have changed. They still don't have pitch framing. Which I'm wondering if maybe they're just including it as part of catcher ability. I would dearly love to see um, them add that at some stage. But I don't know that that's enough. I don't know that it's something their engine can even handle. Okay, pitching rating.
Uh, let's drop all fielding except for fielding at pitcher. Any new pitches? No. That's unfortunate. Supposedly there's supposed to be a few extra arm slots. I remember reading about that on the forums. Which works for me, quite frankly. I mean, they've got the, the main key pitching style thing, so I'm not too fussed about it. There's too many numbers on here. We need to cut some of them out. Um, I think we do what we have in the past, which is look at what they look like and is have a, a potential rating screen and then an actual rating screen. There we go. There we go. This is actually something I can read now. Okay. And honestly, when we're on this screen, we're mostly going to be looking at what they can do right now. And I can always click on players and figure things out here. Um, oh, 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 oh. Do we have spray chart? Yes. Spray chart. This is a big addition, and it's going to be really exciting, and I'm I'm super looking forward to it. Okay, nerding out finished for the moment. I'm not going to bother with pitching with the potential ratings right now. I think it's just easier for me to just click on and look at what I want to look at. Stats, definitely games. Game started. Win loss. Winning percentage. These are all good things to know. I'm not going to bother with holds. I definitely want walks, intentional walks, and strikeouts. ERA. BABIP, WHIP, and all your rate stats. Strikeouts per walk. Wild pitches are always interesting. Box, sure. We'll also do runs allowed. That's interesting. I wonder what that is. Uh, quality start, complete games, shutouts, pitches per game, run support. Ground out percentage, all these lovely stats. I think we'll grab all these too. Oh, this must be how many pitches they threw. Oh, that's cool. I don't have room for it though. And it's not really, since I'm not doing the day to day managing, I don't think it's useful for us to have. There we go. We still can't quite see all the headings, but we'll live. Oh, yeah, I don't want that anymore. Go away. Maybe that'll open things up a bit. That's a little better. Save you. Pitcher stats. And I think that'll do for now. Unless there's a good fielding stat screen. Look at all the new fielding stats. Give me all of them. Inject them directly into my veins. O. M. G. Are these pitch framing stats? B. I. Z. Balls in zone. Against righties. Against lefties. I don't know what these are, but I desperately want to know what they are. Oh, these are the advanced stats. These aren't pitch framing stats. I'm a little bit sad now, but that's all right. Um, 
I do agree that it's going to be difficult for the engine to handle it unless you build the entire engine from the ground up to handle pitch framing. Um, I keep saying pitch framing. You may not know what that means. So if you watch a game of baseball, you will occasionally see, uh, you actually always see the pitcher throw a ball to the catcher. If you watch the catcher, sometimes they'll ever so slightly move their glove. They're trying to trick the umpire into calling a strike when a strike might not be warranted. That's pitch framing. It's turning what might be a ball into a strike. And it's a really important part of the game the catchers play. And it's not something that's measured very well. So that's what that is about. Um, and then we'll do a financial version of the screen too. Because I do want to make sure we got all this good stuff. And we'll put in... That's where we'll also put in like the... Um, Uh, the touchy-feely stuff. Adaptability, huh? That's fine. That works. Oh, God, it kept all the uh, fielding stats in there, too. Whoopsie. Go away, please. And it doesn't have any of the names. That's not something I need. Come on, team. Come on, guy. Don't be that stupid. A status information and age. I like this a lot. Notice again, reserve clause. Everyone has the same thing. So that's a thing. Right. Do we have any interesting prospects in the minors? I don't think so. We do have one. We have this guy way down in rookie ball. Oh, that's right. I said it to not use, uh, to use fictional minor leagues. If you're 24, dude, you should be in much higher up than you were. Okay. Okay. But yeah, we are a very long ways away from being anywhere near regularly competitive, despite what our frankly delusional owner thinks. The owner thinks we're going to make the playoffs in two years. That's... It, it's not going to happen. It's just not. Did you change coaching? Uh, openers were added. Um, openers are the inverse of closers. They start a game, and then you bring in your starter after a couple of innings. Oh, dear. We've got a long way to go on this coaching staff, too. Damn. Okay. Um... Anything else jump out at me is brand new. No, all the reports are the same. The logs are the same. I guess we'll just have to see. Um, ahem. So let's quickly... Oh, uh, no. I want to save this as financial stuff. Oh, go away. Um, let's look at position ratings. Okay. Uh, we're looking at pictures. We're looking at pictures. Here we go. So you'll notice because of where we are in Major League history... We don't have much in the way of um, 
we have mostly position players, which is normal. At this point in history, most teams used a four-man pitching rotation. Um, so let's just quickly get a, a quick snapshot of what we've got, what we might want to consider trading, and what, if anything, we might want to keep. Um, Woodling is the obvious choice of someone we want to trade. The reserve clause reduces the amount uh, that a bad contract costs you. But if we can pick up a couple of interesting prospects, it's worth it. All right, let's sim up to spring training beginning. Is there anyone we want to give a shot in spring training to? Flowers, maybe. Hey, it's Mike Garcia. He's a pitcher for the Indians. Um, I mean, yeah, there's no reason he, he couldn't get a shot. What positions are we weak at? We have three catchers, two first basemen. Second and third, a bunch of shortstops are very much meh. But the problem is our most major league ready players aren't position players, they're pitchers. And although none of our pitchers are great, we're also not so bad off that we need to mess with it. So that's a thing. Um... And we don't have the independent leagues, which I could have added, but on the on the other hand, I think we made the right decision. Are there any interesting free agents? There's Mike Quellar. No, aren't you interesting? Uh, what if I give you $100,000 if you sign with my minor league team? There we go. I'd also love to get Satchel Page, but at the same time, I don't really think we need the pitching help. I will definitely jump in on Mike Quellar, though. Maybe Quayar, actually. Just a double L. Hmm. I don't know. Right, so let us simulate our very first week of OTP 20. I gotta say, I'm not impressed with this offer. I don't need relievers. And I know I'm not giving up much in return. But he's got a higher chance of being useful at some point in the next two or three years than the other guy does. What if they change trading at all? Not really. Yeah, I'm not just going to pick someone at random. I think we immediately go ahead and put Woodling on the trading block. And I just want to see what kind of offers I get for him. Okay, good. We got Mike Quellar. Quayar, whatever you want to call him. Shut up. Um, he 
Here's the million dollar question though. Because I'm glad we got him. I really truly am. But he also has the chance to opt out of his deal if we don't promote him to the Major League. Oh, we got a Major League contract. Okay. Yeah, there's no such thing as arbitration. I just think the game doesn't know how to handle him. Yeah. Arbitration does not exist in the Major Leagues in, 19, in the 1960s. Okay, you are offering me an above-average defensive player. But I don't want to give you Zipful. Actually, Zipful is by far the worst option of the players you're asking for. I don't want him that badly. I'm going to pass. Let's go ahead and do news from my entire organization. I think the news is more useful. This first season is probably not going to be much uh, to think about. We're probably one of the worst teams in the league. And what we're most interested in is making something out of what we have now. Turning them into useful players who will be around uh, when we can build a bit. And get the kind of quality players that we need. Hey, I got one of the best uh, prospects in the game, so that's fun. All right, team home screen. We need to demote a couple people. Oh, that's right. We have it on them being refused to be demoted, don't we? But contracts aren't guaranteed. So I'm going to just cut you. Um, I really don't need three catchers, and the third catcher doesn't need to be that terrible. Now, of course, the biggest weakness of this lineup is that we have one very good hitter, one kind of good hitter, and then a bunch of extremely flawed players. Which is, you know, it's whatever. Why are you angry, Mike Quellar? Oh, you don't think your performance has been very good. Well, you didn't play that much. Um... Quellar here has a fair upside to him, but it's going to be a while before he gets there. No one's really good at striking people out. Yeah, pitching staff is not exciting. We got a long ways to go before this team is going to be ready for prime time. Gene Green is a really bad catcher and a pretty good right fielder. That might be the best solution for him. Do I? Who's Craig Flowers? Oh, yeah, I remember you. Yeah, you can totally be on the 40-man roster now.
No one grabbed Dutch. Gene Green, one player of the week. Nice. He has six home runs in how many games? Like, wait, 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 wait. You are in triple A, right? No, you're in single A. You should definitely be at least in double A. Um... You have six homers in 17 games. Holy shit. Remember, no matter how well we perform, we should be guaranteed the first overall, the first overall pick in the draft. Maybe the second overall pick, uh, depending on who got what. Yep, Pedro Ramos shot us out. Well, I mean, you know, whatever. Chuck Hinn, our first baseman. You know, he's not too shabby either. There is talent on this team, but it's mostly supporting talent. I think we need a couple of real major stars if we're going to... Where's the draft? Oh, it's right. The draft's in the offseason, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Four to five weeks for Billy Kloss. A shortstop. Do I have any infielders? I guess I could call a boat here. You can get her done for a while. Okay. Nope. I am not giving up. Because look. Johnny Logan isn't the worst shortstop. Danny with fame praise, I know. But he's a luxury we don't need. And if people do definitely want Ed Brinkman. Well, let's see what we can get. Prospects, please and thank you. I still can't sort. This is so frustrating, but whatever. Interesting. You are a damn fine looking pitcher. And we do need quality prospects of any kind we can get. Can I get you to toss in another couple of interesting prospects? Like Travis Knight. Probably not. He thinks it's close. Alright. Just for the sake of argument, let's throw in Gene Woodling. Okay. Yeah, 
he really quite likes Matt Welch. I don't like A.J. Haynes's offensive capabilities. Perry won't embarrass himself with a bat, but again, we're looking for top quality future contributors. And I'll take a gander at Josh uh, Delbo, too. How for Eugene Woodling? I'm going to trade Dale Long. He's a first baseman, and we already have a first baseman. That's quite good. That's younger. And Hinton. And then I'm going to try to grab an interesting player lower on down. Um, no. I mean, there's no way in hell that they're going to throw in Matt Welch, is there? No. Trey Gray, maybe? He wants to think about it. And I, frankly, would be quite happy with this offer. So, yeah, I will go ahead and submit the offer and see how they respond. No way, huh? Do you want any really crappy players? No, huh? You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and drop gray and accept the fact that we're trading a player we don't need and a m rookie that's not that good for a potential frontline ace, for starters, and a very good center fielder who also happens to be able to hit a fair bit. I think this is the exact kind of trade we need to make. Done. I don't think either of those guys had a major league contract. Um, who's the best position player not currently on the roster? Allison, welcome to the majors. And we lost Dick Donovan for six weeks. That's fine. I like how they changed it from disabled list to injured list. That was an actual change that real Major League Baseball made. Um, I guess Peterson isn't the worst choice. He can fill in a bit. Why am I not getting player development updates? Rules, financials, options, players. Oh, was I not paying attention? I did set it up to actually use. The player development system, right? No, you're okay. Oh, 
Yeah, I haven't gotten a single player development report. Is that just something that you don't automatically get anymore? I guess so. Um... Not really much here that I'm seeing. I'm not seeing big changes. How are all of these reports equally important? Like, let's check the scouting. Here we go. He's pretty much reached what he's going to reach. He's not going to change too much in the next couple of years, which is fine with me. I'm not too fussed by that. A personal message, you say? Who's my current shortstops? Um, let's send Jim Mahoney down because he's kind of a crappy shortstop. And let Billy Kloss come up. A 22-year-old hitting this well is something worth celebrating. Let's promote him. I don't think he's going to have much of a career in the majors, but at the very least, he's earned himself a promotion to AAA. Let's check out the All-Star Game results. Uh, how long is he out for? Three weeks? Damn. Okay. He's ecstatic towards my progress. Um, right. Let's take a quick peek and see who among our staff we'd actually would want to keep. What are you good at? You're not bad at development. I can give you a new deal. I can literally let the entire rest of the coaching staff go and we wouldn't notice any differences. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I don't think I'm going to bother hiring these coaches again. Yeah, well, you are a dick, Donovan. So there. Hey, my first OTP 20 achievement, an RBI streak. Let's see. Jim Woodling made the all-star team, as we kind of expected. Like, Woodling's slugging percentage is crazy good this year. Oh, he's been smashing doubles at a crazy rate. Okay. He doesn't like slackers or selfish players. Do we have any of those? I mean, I will happily cut them if it makes you happy. 
Oh god, we've got a lot of selfish players, like so many. Holy shit. And we got this guy. Um, what do we do? I think we're trade woodling and see what I can get for him and prospects. I'm getting a lot of offers for relief pitchers, which doesn't really interest me since I don't care about relief pitchers. Like, even an amazing one like Steve Hamilton is not as valuable as Woodling is to our team. Here we go. Batters only. Don't even offer me pitchers. Uh, we've got a pretty decent defensive catcher who can't really hit. I've got a decent third baseman who can't really hit. I'm noticing a trend here. Yeah. So here's the reason I'm not too fussed about trading Woodling. It's the reserve clause era. I get him next year if I want him. So there's very little incentive for me to trade him if I don't get a quality package back. So I'm just going to wait and see if someone comes knocking on my door. We never looked at... The, oh yeah, we did look at the All-Star Games. That was, he was my, uh, my person... Sergio Carrasco. Like, I don't know what it is about this, these teams that makes them think I desperately want relief pitchers. I don't. Jose Pagan is merely a decent shortstop. I'm not giving away a fairly good starting pitcher and a middle infielder with some upside to him. You strange. We are Jim Kingless. Promote Zipful, I guess. I'm kind of promoting people all willy-nilly. And that's because I just genuinely don't have many other options. I haven't really had a chance to build the team in my image yet. We'll get there. Uh, sure. Literally any crappy person who can hold a baseball bat can play in the lineup right now. Um, Mikey, I'm going to go ahead and release you. You're not that good a pitcher. I don't want Pagan. He's not good enough. I don't know why you're under the impression that I'm trying to get better this year. Because I already know I can't. I do quite enjoy Richie Ashburn. Not enough to give away decent prospects. We are not, in a, we are not one or two players away from winning the World Series. We are an entire team away from winning the World Series. So we should only trade either marginal prospects 
Or just wait until we have players worth acquiring. It's not that I don't like Johnny Logan. It's that I am not going to trade for him. He doesn't offer me anything I don't already have. Let's go to the trading deadline and let's see how what desperate people might be. I only want position players and only want prospects. And I'm not getting very good offers. I'm getting mediocre to average players, which is not worth trading him. Oh, you may have noticed um, in the trading thing, because that's in the Major League Baseball trade, we now have, uh, they disable waiver trades, which is pretty cool, because uh, they're actually doing that in the Major Leagues next year. Uh, I, I, I kind of like that. We can get Danny O'Connell back. And he can go back to the minors. O'Connell's a little bit more complete as a player. Roster expansion. I think this is the same Jim King we had in uh, OTP 19. That never actually got to start in the majors because I had such a good outfield with Toronto. That was a damn good outfield. Um, yeah, I can send down the zip full. We need superstars. Um, we should get at least one in the draft. Which is, that's going to be the challenge of this, is going to be winning a, winning a World Series in a short time after the draft. I don't know if I love the fact that they don't automatically stop the game for player development reports anymore. Especially when, look... This is not easy to read. It's not clear what they're using to sort their players. And so I can't scroll through this and see, oh, look, this guy is the new hotness. No, sir, I don't like it. Oh, hello, Jamie Gibson. Now this I like to see. You added a new pitch, and you threw, you're throwing a lot harder. And you are throwing harder as well. But I mean, yeah, we're not seeing a lot of things that are that helpful there. Yeah, I just really think, given how important it is to be able to see your team develop, this is one aspect of OTP that's never really gotten better. And it's frankly a bit frustrating. Um, I should be able to quickly see at a glance who's improving and who isn't. 
Maybe that's something that they will address this season. But I do find it kind of frustrating. And maybe you don't, and that's fine if that's true, but... Ooh, we got a walk-off home run. Nice. Oh, for Hinton. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, we got a 2020 player. Hit and hit 20 homers and stole 20 bases. Nice. Yeah, a lot of players can't stay in my current management staff. Um, so how'd the season go? I mean, the obvious word is shit, um, which is totally fair. Did we have many bright spots? Uh, first of all, let's talk about woodling season. At the age of 38. Now 39, he was the best player on our team by a fairly substantial margin. And he became an all-star for it, and he frankly deserved it. Hit 322, and played somewhat under par defense, but nothing too horrible. Uh, Gene Green was exceptional as a catcher. 24 homers and 30 doubles. That was very nice. Hinton was great. O'Connell was really good when he was healthy. But we've got a lot of players in this meh range, which we kind of expected looking at the lineup. Billy Kloss just doesn't offer very much. I mean, a guy who plays... 122 games and can't even hit 200. I'm just going to cut him. I'm going to cut him now as a warning to the others that they shouldn't suck so bad. Why do we play 162 games? We should only play 154. Huh. Maybe this is the first season we played 162. Maybe. Curiously enough, this is exactly how the real Washington Senators finished in their first season of the league. I think they finished 62 and 100 as well. Um, how's the pitching staff? What do we got here? Uh, Dick Donovan did quite well. I'm concerned about his low strikeout rates. He's another kind of player that we could trade and maybe get some quality for. Uh, Benny Daniels, another solid season. Again, ERA, not great. But neither was his FIP, which actually suggests that he just wasn't that good a pitcher. Pretty good year from Mike. That walk rate, though. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That walk rate. That's got to change if he's ever going to be an effective pitcher. Peterson was a nice little find, too. No one on this team right now is irreplaceable. 
And that's going to be our job in the offseason coming up here. And the Yankees beat the Dodgers. Because, of course, they did stupid Dodgers. You know what, Bob Costas? Go to hell. The American League is plenty fine. Wait, how is there an expansion draft coming up? Who joined the league in You want an upgraded third base. Some coaches are leaving. That's fine. We'll find new coaches. Who joined in 62? Oh, the Mets and the Colt 45s. Okay. Interesting. Here we go, all players. Who do we definitely want to protect? Woodling, Green, Hinton, Donovan, and Hova for sure. No, I'm not going to bend. Eh, I'll ask the AI as well. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not super fussed about it. And then we're just gonna go ahead and auto do the expansion draft. Why do you want to take me to meet your team? It's not mine. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and sim up to the draft pool announcement. Um, there's some good talent here, like Gaylord Perry and Tony Oliva. We'll have to think about what we want to do. What's the draft order? How come I never got my first pick for being in the expansion draft the previous season? Because we started after the offseason. That was dumb. So whoever I was going to draft, I already drafted. That's kind of baloney. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I still got a really good draft pick. I just don't have the draft pick I thought I would. It's whatever. Um... We've got to be more vigilant about free agents, too. Because they're going to be dropping off at all times during the season. Yeah, there's no one here that's any good. I 
I know we got to upgrade a third base. I don't think this is the way to do it. We are not in the position where... Oh, I've got a lot of people to hire, don't I? Okay, we've got a couple of pitchers to choose from, pitching coaches to choose from. Let's go ahead and pick up uh, John Rock here. He would help develop my better power hitters. I'm willing to take that. And then I want a good bench coach. Joe Gordon would be an excellent choice. I guess I should see how it gets along with my staff, huh? Uh, he'd get along perfectly. Yeah, let's definitely hire him as a bench coach with a view to making him a manager in the not-too-distant future. Uh, you can be manager of Toledo. I'm just trying to get interesting coaches right now. Double-A manager, let's take someone who's easygoing but and conventional. No, I've already made an offer. I'll grab Jimmy here and see how he can do. Sterling Northman. The North remembers. Um, I want to make sure we got good power instructors up and down the minor leagues. Okay. Oh, right, the Rule 5 draft. Um, that's a place we can grab some talent. All right, I'm going to put you on the 40, man, and I'm going to chuck you into triple A. I'm going to bump Knight up to double A. That's where he was before we traded him, okay. You really think Bolden should be in the majors? I don't disagree, necessarily. I've had so many open spots on the 40-man. If I have people with... 40 potential or higher, I'm going to put them on the 40 man if they need to be. I just don't have any. Okay. That's fine. That's totally fine. Damn, come on, Philly. Don't be like that. Must have made me an offer for someone and then traded him to someone else. We're filling out the minor league coaches. It's just these coaches that are still sitting on their butts. Okay. 
There you go. We've got our pitching coach and we got our hitting coach. Good. Hall of Fame voting. And we got the bench coach, who's going to be my manager when Mickey Vernon's done. Who do we got coming up for the Hall of Fame? A bunch of nobodies. And Bob Fowler, to be sure. Uh, Johnny Mize, definitely going to give him some consideration. And Hal Newhauser. Um, Vern Stevens, I mean, maybe. Is he even better than the average shortstop? He is sort of by Jaws. Ah, uh, that I think that works. All right, guys, we gotta kill the draft. You have to murder it in the face. Because it's gonna be the main way we add talent to our team. Stupid Colts and Mats. Position players are what we need most. There are three great position players in this draft. And no guarantees that any one of them will fall to us. So let's start by auto-drafting picks. There goes Willie Stargell. There goes Tony Oliva. There goes Gaylord Perry. There goes Tommy Aggie. They did want us to upgrade at third base. And P. Ward is a damn fine hitter that happens to play third base. Is it worth taking him? Is it worth skipping out on someone like a Manny Moda? Moda hits for crazy contact but can't really hit for power. I think Ward is, is the best bet. <laughs> Let's take him. Let's do it. Hi, Pete Ward. I wouldn't object to Dave McNally. Sure, let's get all the said the nineteen seventies Royals on the same team. Like, for especially for us, a team that needs just youth and depth, I think Dave McNally is a perfect choice. And our pitching's not so great either. Um. Okay. We do need short stops too. This is known. What 
do I do at this point? Like, what can we grab that other teams aren't going to have? How about a pretty fair hitter disguised as a relief pitcher? Do it. And as soon as we get him, I will instantly be grabbing him. I am going to get grab Phil Lins because we do need middle infielders and he is a fairly good hitter. So I think a fourth round pick on Phil Boy here is a worthwhile pick. Um, okay, pitching staff. So many of you are relievers. Like, so, so many of you. But someone that can throw some major heat is definitely worth it. We do need at least one fireman, as they were called at this point in Major League history. We'll grab Willard here just because he's kind of boring, but still has something to offer. There are literally only 23 pitchers left. Oh, there's 23 players left in the whole draft. Oh. Armando Samuel can sort of hit. Yeah, there's nothing left. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and offer everyone what they want. As an initial draft class, I got to say, this is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad either. And I think definitely Ward presents an instant upgrade over on a team that had no good third baseman. I mean, Bob Johnson was our third baseman. He is inoffensive, which is the nicest thing I can say about him. Okay. I think we need to put Pete Ward on the Major League roster. Bobby Darwin can have some time to develop. I'm less fussed about him. But yeah, Pete Ward needs to go on the Major League roster. Let's get Rule 5 drafting. If there are any exceptional players, I hope you instantly realize I'm not going to be getting them. As catchers go, foils isn't bad. Tori's okay. There's just not much here. I do like that Eric Edmiston can play brilliantly literally anywhere on the field. That's kind of neat. I think I will take him. And I think that'll do us for this particular draft. Okay. Hmm. 
Fowler and Newhouser both got in. Good for them. Um. All right. Phil Lins, I want in AAA for now. He's super young, I know, to be... No, actually, he's not that young. I just want to see how he does playing the field. Um, McNally is 19. He is a good enough pitcher that I will go and let him start at A ball. And what were you for, Weaver? Ah, you are a raw pitcher. Hmm. Short season for you. Right. Neither green. Green is not a great catcher. Is he a great right fielder? I don't know. Oh, who was that one kid we drafted? The, you know, the one. The guy with the thing. Um. Yeah, Darwin, who wants you to be a reliever? I don't. I want to make you a center fielder. Oh, look who all of a sudden looks like a good prospect. That's right, you guys. That's bloody right. Okay. Um. All right. Other holes we need to fill. I thought Pete Ward is instantly the best hitter on the team. I don't disagree, but that is kind of funny to me. I could move green out to catcher, or er, not catcher, right field. But I just want to give him a chance to see how he can handle being a catcher. He had a lot of passed balls. Hmm. I mean, I could get an excellent defensive catcher who can't hit as well. I just know that I don't want Buck Rogers is that I don't think I want to give up a big offensive piece of the team for someone who can't hit. I do like David Prince. A Nielsen would be a major coup if and only if this changeup develops. I frankly would be willing to make the change. Um... Ziggler is crazy raw. The 
The thing is, just because there's one piece we definitely need. Uh, a good defensive catcher. It gets a very intriguing pitching process. Oh, God, look at that movement. Nope. Nielsen's a much better risk. And I can throw in some crappy player like Franklin Diaz and pull this off. And I'm going to add Dan Ardell. He's not sure about it. You know what? Let's submit the offer and see what you think. Um, good defensive catcher. Really intriguing pitching prospect. Let's do it. I mean, that was one of our best hitters that got traded. Uh, that is not lost on me. What is equally not lost on me. Is how good he might be. Where's my rookie ball? Okay, good. You already did the smart thing and made Nielsen a starter. Let's give him short season ball. Promote you. Ardell can start in A ball. Okay, I'm not putting you guys in AAA. I'm going to let you develop at least a bit before I rush you. We are ever so slowly making improvements to the roster. This isn't the ideal package for Woodling, especially when he was so good last year. But we did get genuine talent, which we desperately needed. And so I'll live with that. Especially this means that Gene Green uh, can either play the outfield or something. Uh, what do we got in free agency? I think we could bring Billy Claus back. Um, there's not much here. I, I didn't think there would be. Yeah, that's a problem with the reserve clause, though. It's kind of hard to find a way to spend money. I increased my budget. Thank you. To spend it on player development. I am, I still think we're a long ways away from the playoffs. I'm not talking we're a long ways away from the World Series. I mean we're a long ways away from the playoffs. I don't think... 
I mean, we're going to have a lot of people making the roster that basically don't have any business doing so. Just to fill holes. Which is, you know, whatever. It's part of the price of doing business at this point in, a, in Major League history. I do want to give him at least a shot to see what he can do in the minors. I mean, everyone knows we're worse in the outfield. And if not for Ward, we'd have an awfully hard time getting on base. But this is why it's a, it's a long, hard slog before free agency. Um, you're giving me a young pitcher in exchange for a pitcher who doesn't have much of a, an upside. I think we can make this happen. Yeah, let's do it. Can I get you to throw in, say, a Fred Newman? I oh, use drafted emotion. What about Guillermo Caraballo? Oh, damn, if he isn't a tasty looking player. You're probably not going to give him to me. What if I am joking? Um. Yeah, they'd be pretty stupid to give me a player of this Kyle Caliber. I will grant them that much. Hey, Jim Bouton. Um, yeah. I don't think I want that guy after all. But I do have, this is a serious offer. I seriously want you to give me one of your best players or one of my worst. Um... Okay, who do we have right now that's over 30? Danny O'Connell. What if we started there? And Harry Bright. And Dick Donovan. Okay. You're you're pretty clearly seeing through my 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 ickle scheme. So yeah. That is fair. People really like Justin Pointer. What if I just shopped him? I don't know what it is about him that people like, but frankly, I'm willing to, to take a plunge for the right player. Okay, what if I include all players? And we'll even throw in overpriced veterans at this point. Yeah, come on OTP, let me sort by something other than teams. This seems like it would be such an easy thing to change. Roy McMillan is a pretty decent shortstop defensively. And maybe I can trade him for something after the season. It's sad Sam Jones. Well, 
Let's go and grab old Roy here. I need you to throw on Tony Cloninger? No. Yeah, a lot of these guys are recent draft picks, so I can't trade for them. You can't hit. Like, ever. He just got drafted. What the shit, guys? Huh. Jack Hamilton, just as a random... Nope, I can't even grab him. You know what? Fine. I'm taking a middling... I'm taking a, an average to below average prospect, and I'm turning him into a valuable player. I'm happy with this. What does it say about how bad my team is that he instantly represents a massive upgrade over what we had at shortstop? Not much. Uh, I will happily cut Jim Mahoney. Remember, we're going to need at least one to two elite players before we can even begin the process of thinking about a playoff spot. And we don't have any yet. We have very good players, but no elite players necessarily. We have the kind of roster that can muddle about 500. In this era, that's not going to be good enough. Any of them Washington Senators? Two of them are. Pete Ward, number five, and Ben Winward. We have the best farm system in the majors. <laughs> that's pretty sexy. I approve. But after we've made our, trimmed our roster down a bit, I think we'll end our episode. Uh, Phil Linz, you can go to AAA. Bodlin needs some time. Like, he threw 120 innings of shitty baseball in AAA. Maybe AA is where he... I really don't want to start him down in A-ball. I don't want to promote him that... Demote him that far. Uh, i got to get rid of two more players. Let's go ahead... Simpson can repeat double-A, but I think he's farther along than Winward is. One other player I must dispose of. Probably good old Coot here. Why on earth did I keep him after his shitty last year? I thought I cut him as soon as the season ended. That'll show me. Okay, I need to call up at least one starting pitcher. I do have a starting pitcher, right? What happened to that Peterson guy I had last year? I didn't trade him, did I?
Oh, you took him from me in the expansion draft. Whoopsie. No, that's fair. That's totally fair. Damn. What can I do to... make up for the fact all my pictures are shit? I guess I'll... El Mogwar here. And then we'll send down McLean. John McLean. But yeah, I, we do definitely need at least four good starters. Okay. I don't know what this season's going to hold for us, to be honest with you. We are in a world of hurt. But I do think we have some interesting possibilities. Oh, this is cool. I really like this. That was, That's new. Um, do let me know what you guys think of the series thus far. Um, welcome to the channel. If this is your first episode, I hope you'll join us for more baseball action. Uh, share your own thoughts with Out of the Park Baseball 20 if you've got a chance to play it. If you haven't, uh, this is a good place as any look. Uh, let me know if there's other features in the game you'd like to see besides the new 3D engine, which I think was a major focus of the two, of this most recent season. Uh, but thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Indian, and I bid you good day.